Welcome to this presentation of UPSL Soccer Action, live on YouTube and presented by the Atlantic Soccer Media Group. It's Saturday, and you know what that means. It's time for more UPSL Georgia Premier Division action right here on ASMG TV. It's SSL FC against FC Birmingham, and it's next. everyone and welcome back to Charlie Jordan Field here at Shiloh Stadium for today's matchup between SSL FC and FC Birmingham. Larry Weaver here bringing you all the lead up action before we hand it over to John Reno. Take a look at where we are at here on the fixture. We look at last week. SSL winning to FC Atlanta 4-3. Legends FC beating Atlanta United based on a forfeit that also cost Atlanta United three points in the table. We'll look at that here in just a second. FC Birmingham losing late to UMAFC. Georgia Revolution losing to Dalton United. We'll see them later on in the doubleheader. North Georgia United losing to Atlanta City 6-2. to two. And Potros FC beating Georgia Athletic SC 1-0. We look at this week, today's matchups. Potros FC is taking on FC Atlanta right now. They are leading. Atlanta United Academy and North Georgia United are currently 1-1. This matchup now. And then also at 6 o'clock over in Montgomery, UMA FC against Legends FC in the, uh, the Deep South Derby. Georgia Revolution taking on Atlanta City at 7. And our second match, Kalaji Pro Profile, versus Dalton United. Look at the leaderboard as it stands right now. Dalton United back at the top of the table. Potros FC in second place. Atlanta City FC, Legends FC, UMA FC, Georgia Athletic SC, and SSL. They make up all the playoff spots. North Georgia United is now accompanied by Atlanta United Academy in the relegation zone. Losing those three points due to the forfeit against Legends FC. Kalanji Pro Profile, Georgia Revolution, FC Birmingham, FC Atlanta, all in the bubble spaces looking for a path into the top and into the playoffs. Today's weather, beautiful 73 degrees, 13 mile an hour winds, a beautiful day for soccer as we step aside for opening ceremonies.
Ceremony's done. Gives us an opportunity to bring in John Reno to call this match. John, going to be an interesting little matchup here. Yeah, we have, we have a team Birmingham. It's almost a completely different team than we're used to seeing. Yeah, the the team got uh, quite a bit of overhaul, and uh, looking for their first win of this young season. And SSLFC, a team that start off with a couple rough uh, matches, but they're on their way up with two straight wins looking for a third. So this should be a good one, first of a doubleheader. And thank you for joining us, everyone. Again, my name is John Reno alongside Larry Weaver, bringing to you week five of UPSL Georgia Premier Division action live from Shiloh Community Stadium, Charlie Jordan Field in beautiful uh, Snellville, Georgia. Beautiful day for soccer, beautiful day for the beautiful game. And we're about set to get underway. We're just waiting for SSL to break through a huddle and come out on the field, as well as FC Birmingham. FC Birmingham, visiting team. They're wearing their all yellows today, and they'll be going from left to right on your screen. And SSL FC, wearing their black uniforms today, they'll be going from right to left. And watching that game last week, John, like I was saying, two late goals by UMA really broke the hearts of FC Birmingham and losing 2-1 at home at Lawson Stadium. We'll see how they rebound today. Yeah, and they'll probably look for their uh, their leader, scoring leader, offensive leader, Giancarlo Bustamante, number nine. They'll be looking for him to take the initiative today and give him a lift today and see if he can get on the board for Birmingham, FC Birmingham. And SSL just riding a wave of a, a, a tremendous match last week, probably the match of the week last week with uh, SSLFC against FC Atlanta. Scoring late to steal a victory 4-3 last week. So, And really the only change in SSL's lineup, John, is Phillips being in the starting lineup. He came off of the bench and was one of the big scorers against that FC Atlanta match that we covered. And we are underway. FC Birmingham with the kickoff. And looking for Bustamante right away. And it's headed forward past midfield by SSL. Now trying to break through, but heavy touch there. But the keeper is able to come out and clear it away. And now along the near side, and the ball goes out for a throw. So SSL looked look to maybe have a chance early, but not able to control the heavy touch and not able to get the shot off. But meanwhile, the throw back in. And SSL will draw it back and switch it up, go over to the far side, back to the middle. That'll drop back to Junior Nunez, who sends it to Ford. Long pass attempt, cleared away by SSL. Finds his way back to Nunez, drops off his defense. Pressure, pressure coming on. Here comes a chance for SSL in the box. Takes a shot and off the post. Oh, my goodness. Another potentially costly mistake by the defense of the goalkeeper on that, Larry. Almost put SSL up 1-0. You take a look here, John, and you can see the keeper just kind of lazily kicking it over to the defender and allows the attack and the shot right off the post. Almost made him pay for that one. Yeah, just, uh, just the the defenseman and the, and the keeper just not on the same page there. So we're going to get our corner here on the far side. First corner of the match for SSL. So the inside out swing and he likes to drop it back and shot on the ground easily cleared away by the defense and we get a foul.
So SSL, they have uh, fast players, and they can put they can be on you right away, and that's what they did on the FC Birmingham defense there. Now, meanwhile, offside is the call this time. See uh, SSL trying to get ahead of the back line once more. So free kick for Birmingham. He just Jonas, we're in the opening salvo here, the first of a double header. And you're not going to want to miss the second one. We have two Georgia Premier powerhouses, Kalanji Pro Profile, hosting Dal the first place, Dalton United FC. That's at 7.30 after this match, and you'll definitely want to catch that one. And here we got a little lull in the action as someone's got to go retrieve a ball here. All right, so now we're ready for a throw. Almost like a basketball throw in there. A lot of movement there, but. We get another foul call, so we'll get a free kick here deep in the defensive third of SSL on the far side. So I can't see who's taking this kick, though, but let's see what they do. Three men wall. Look to go around. Sends it up high. And trying to hit it in. And it's going to find its way into the goal. So FC Birmingham strikes first. Great goal here, John. You can see little. this is one thing that SSL has been a little slow at the start. You see that header down, and it just slowly trickles its way in. Fantastic goal. One yeah. nil. They saw the ball just bounce on the turf and just kind of found its way in the net. Almost in slow motion there. Just slow to react was SSL. And 1-0 is our lead now for FC Birmingham. But I'm sure SSL won't be panicky there. They've come down from behind before. So no reason for them to panic or be down at this point. Still very early. And we get a hard clear by the defense. B throw here for SSL. That's Jello throwing in for SSL. And they say it's throw's going to go to FC Birmingham, much to the, the dismay of SSL. They did not like that call. That's Bailey Harris with a throw for Birmingham. A long th throw, headed up and out of play. So we'll do this all again. Save Mr. Harris. Goes for Giancarlo. Giancarlo pulled down, falls from behind. And SSL trying to break out. And just overran the play there. So it'll be a throw in here for FC Birmingham. Slight mix up there. far side once more off SSL and this is a foul so free kick right along the touch line yeah, it sends it long headed forward by SSL 
Birmingham losing control now. And once more, pass too, a little too far. Couldn't quite get to it in time. So once more, Birmingham will throw in. So both teams are playing a little bit of pressure here early on the on the ball carrier. SSL finally are able to get rid of it. And Nunez out of the goal. Gets it forward to midfield. And heavy touch on that ball, but it's not going to go out. It's, well, they're going to let it go out. Smart play there by SSL. On the near side, FC Birmingham with the pressure, just not letting FC Birmingham carry the ball out. Now they finally hit it long, but it's sent back in. Now they'll switch up to the near side. And now, moving past a couple defenders, but lose control. But SSL win it back. Okay, I'm going to get a foul here. Got a FC player, FC Birmingham player down. Nothing egregious with that foul, John. Just clattered together. I want to take a look at that goal one more time because I wanted to see who it was that scored that goal. And, yes, it does look like it was Bustamante that scored that goal. So that's the man we said had to step up here for his team today and – He's done that, scoring the first goal. And now once more SSL ahead of the play on, on side this time. Trying to move in on a little bit of heavy touch there. And Nunez was there to scoop it up. But he had a teammate right beside him that went down and I don't know may have may have been a bit of a distraction for him but but nonetheless not able to get a shot off and John if we go back and we watch this there was a foul committed on the player that's down he just kind of tugged back by the defender and it looked like it was number 17 Harris for FC Birmingham who committed the foul no card or no no foul issued whatsoever but you could definitely see him tug the SSL player down with oh. these uh, numbers on SSL jerseys. It's very difficult to figure out who is who. Yeah, it was a, s a small group of, of players. They're all bunched up together, so it may have been just too hard for the referee to see that. So back to live action, SSL. Sing it long once more. And coming down the near side, able uh, – Ah, just again, just let himself a little too far. And Nunez is able to come out of the goal and scoop that up. And really, that's what it was, John. Even though that there was that foul, the, the player on that far side that had possession for SSL just pushed the ball too far in front of him, and that's why he, they didn't have a chance on goal. All right, once more SSL in possession, past midfield. Coming down that far side again. They had a man ahead of the play, and but nonetheless, the ball will go out. So, quick throw for FC Birmingham. FC Birmingham with an early goal by Bustamante off of a corner. One nils are scoring. That's where we stand here. Still in the early stages of this match. And you're watching. UPSL Georgia Premier Division Soccer on the Atlantic Soccer Media Group YouTube channel. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss notifications of all upcoming matches.
We also have interviews and podcasts, all sorts of content for you. All right, so free kick for SSL. Has the man on the side. Nunez is going to have to go up his ladder and get that one. That was Sam with it. Popped it up in the air, but goalkeeper is able to get to that one first. Got a little back and forth now. FC Birmingham got a man on all alone by himself on the near side, but SSL defense is there, so he's going to have to pull it back, pulls it back to Harris. Harris takes a long shot. It's going to sail high over the goal. So that was Caleb Sippen, who was open there for just a brief moment there, Larry. Yeah, good transition for FC Birmingham. Giancarlo with a beautiful ball over to Harris and takes a turn. And this shot just sent way over the bar. Going to want that one back. And it may be hard to see on the, on the screen. The wind is gusting, and it's blowing from our near side across the pitch to that far side. And that's one of the reasons why I think that that corner just kind of set in, the, that set piece set in the air and allowed Giancarlo with the header in for the goal. Even though it is a beautiful day, there is a, we do have some wind gusts here. It was much worse yesterday, though. So thankfully, not as bad today. But still something to deal with. There's a scramble for it at midfield. And it's going to go out of play for a Birmingham throw. So Harris will throw it in for Birmingham. Sends it far down the near side, but taking controls SSL. Trying to work their way. Now they switch up over to the far side, past midfield now is SSL. Drops it off in the middle, but surrounded by a sea of yellow jerseys, they take it away and here comes Birmingham, but they have to withdraw a little mis misplay on the ball. And still they say it's going to go out on SSL. So fortunate bounce on the uh, misplay there by Bailey. Headed for Dow. Here's a chance maybe for Birmingham. Try to heel kick, but the defense was there to clear. All took a funny bounce there. Had a little bit of spin on it. Oh, nice tackle by SSL. Looking for a foul, but he's not getting one. Beautiful play by SSL. Now a little grab from behind. Yeah, Birmingham calling for a flag and not getting one. And now <laughs> Nunez. <laughs> Was waiting for that ball to go out. And had a little bit, little bit of collision for his troubles there. I think if Nunez would have let that ball be touched by the SSL player, he would have been called off sides. Definitely was putting himself in harm's way. Yeah, he um, had a bit of a mistake earlier being a little lackadaisical on a pass to the defense, which almost resulted in a goal. And thankfully for Birmingham, it went off the, the goal post. And then, not too long right after that, Giancarlo was able to answer and put his team up. Now SSL once more on the attack. There's a three ball again, a little too far. Nunez back to get it. And... I was going to force the issue and make him pick it up. Throws it ahead. Yeah, 
And once more, SSL able to strip the ball away. Now we got offside here. Just ahead of the play. So what are your thoughts so far, Larry, on how both teams are playing this early going? Yeah, we're just coming into the 19th minute. Really, FC Birmingham has set the pace of this match so far. Now Birmingham coming in in the 18, pass in the middle. SSL was there, trying to clear it away. It's headed by Birmingham, but SSL is going to come away with it. They're on the far side. And now, all to the near side. And that's number 85. Working his way around two men. Nice move. Nice footwork. Beautiful pass, but crosses off. And Birmingham able to clear it momentarily. SSL keeps it in play. Now, once more, here on the far side, SSL, deep in the defensive third. Collision there in the middle as they pass back, and now we get a foul. So some fancy footwork by number 85 and got a nice pass off. And I don't know if he tried it. You know, it looked like he had the shot there, but he just sailed it through the center and just wide and just hooked it. Take a look at the replay, and you can see as this ball comes in, gets back possession and just clattered into by the FC Birmingham player. I believe it was Sire, number five, who collided with him. So player back up. So here we have a uh, free kick right here along the touchline on the far side. That's not anything chopped in the block, headed forward and out. That was off the flag actually on the far side. So here we go, throw. Chip in the box. Nunez up there to get it, grabs it, secures it. And booted forward. And we got a flag up. This will be a free kick for SSL. Sipping, number 21, losing it. But he fights for it, regains possession. Drops over to Harris. Harris boots it up ahead, looking for Giancarlo. Oh, there's a bad pass by SSL. Here comes Giancarlo with a chance. He's going to take a shot, and oh, just high of the goal. Uh, that was a mistake on SSL's part. I guess he, I don't know if he <laughs> saw a black jersey or not, but he did, there was definitely a yellow jersey there. Giancarlo's going to want this one back, John. You see here just an errant pass from Diaz. Lazily pass back there. Giancarlo between the two defenders. Takes the shot and unfortunately went through the wrong uprights. Yeah, just a little too high. Good effort there. Giancarlo looking for a brace there. He 
So a mistake by SSL does not cost them. SSL. Pass around. They switch it up over to the near side. And once again, Sippin causing some havoc there, causing SSL to retreat and try the back to the other side once more. So more pressure by FC Birmingham. And that pressure's been working for them here in this first half. There's a long switch over the far side. And off the chest a little too far and it's able to clear and it's going to go off of uh, SSL. So another throw for FC Birmingham. So be throwing in their defensive third here. Slowly inches his way up the field. Now finally throws it in, but it's booted forward by SSL. And there's a fight for it in the corner. SSL comes away with it. Oh, nice threaded pass there. It takes a shot on goal, and Nunez is there. Good positioning by the keeper. But I don't see how that pass got out of there, Larry. That was nice threading of the needle there. Now looking for Giancarlo. He's missed the header. And I think we had a inverted handball there, possibly. Coming across the Newswire final over at Silverbacks Park, FC Atlanta 1, Potros FC 1. So they played a draw there. Thank you for the update there, Larry. Meanwhile, live action here. Again. Knocked off the ball. They're going to call a foul on that. So, chance here for Birmingham on the free kick off the, off the foul. That's how the result of that. Goal kick here. Tried to get a little fancy with this one here, John. Good ball in from this set piece. Comes into the box. Bounced up, tried the bicycle. Just a little unsuccessful. On frame though. So, 50-50 ball headed for the by SSL. And now with Bustamante, took the shot, it was deflected off a defender, he's got it back and takes another shot. This one goes high over the goal. So Bustamante with a couple cracks at it, not able to get a shot on frame there. Does earn a corner on it. Take a look at the replay. Ball in the air, given back to Bustamante. Takes a shot off of the player, settles it, takes another shot, deflected. It'll be a corner.
so we're lining up for a corner here on the near side this time. Second corner for Birmingham. And the rush forward in the box, in the box it goes, and it's going to sail over everyone. But Birmingham is there to keep the ball in play and still able to maintain possession. Now, forced out of bounds. A nice nice defensive memo. play there. I don't think Rodriguez got the memo that the wind was blowing from near to far. That one was just hit with way too much power. Yeah, a little too heavy of a foot there on that play. No, SSL midfield. And that sound of Nunez clears it. And sent back in. Well, once more too far for the SSL attacker. Drop it back to Nunez. Nunez now sends it long past midfield. And Harris lets it go out of play. So throw in looking for Bustamante off his head and out. So really good throw for SSL now. John, another update coming across the wire. It was 1-1, North Georgia, Atlanta United. It's now 6-1, Atlanta United over North Georgia United. Uh, so Atlanta United not too happy about the forfeit, it seems. And taking out on their opponent today, 6-1. Thank you for the update, Larry. So FC Birmingham, see how long they can keep this up. They've been pressuring the ball carrier all match so far. And limiting the chances of, F of SSL. It's only really one mistake, but it didn't cost them. Birmingham looking good so far on SSL. Off to a bit of a slow start here, but they definitely have the ability to come back. Oh, nice move around the defender and takes a ball from behind here. That could be a yellow, perhaps. Referee speaking with him. He definitely clipped him from behind there. But it looks like he's not going to get the yellow. So good for SSL there. But a free kick away from downtown, though. Sends it into the box and headed into the goal once more by FC Birmingham. 2-0 is our score. And was that uh, was Bustamante again, Larry, it looked like. Another just perfect, perfect ball in for Bustamante. Coming in about 50 yards out. It floats all the way in, and Bustamante clears his marker and just puts it right on frame. Nothing that the keeper could do. 2-0 FC Birmingham. So quite a half for FC Birmingham and quite a half for Giancarlo Bustamante. Yeah, he was the player we were looking for. Well, meanwhile, here comes a chance for 
SSL that's cleared away. But Giancarlo was the man we pointed out to give his uh, that they were going to look to to give his team a boost today, and he certainly has. Meanwhile, back to live action here. Nunez having a fight for gets control. So Birmingham enjoying a 2-0 lead now, but there's certainly plenty of soccer left to play. And if anything, SSL has shown that they have the ability to come back from a couple goals down. They were down 2-0 last, last time, last week. And came back and won that match 4-3 against FC Atlanta. So this match is long from over, folks. Be a throw for Jello, sends it in. In midfield, Koa sends it on the far side. SSL will retreat a bit here. Looking for a man on the far side, but ball was intercepted. At, but now SSL trying to head it forward here, but the defense is there. And it's going to go out of play past the touchline. It's going to be a throw here for SSL. That was Logan Sawyer giving chase for it, but not able to keep it from going out. So Jello sends it in. A nice move around. Again, himself free in the center. Takes a shot, but closing was a defense. And ball comes free again, but this time cleared out of play by the defense. So... Good defensive play there by FC Birmingham. And that was a nice play by the SSL attacker. Broke free there for a second. Looked like he had a clear shot. But the defense for FC Birmingham closed fast on that one. And we have a Birmingham player down, but now he's up. So we're going to get a throw deep in the defensive third here on the near side. Ball in. Headed up. And headed towards the goal, Nunez has it. And looking for Giancarlo for that goal kick. And they'll send it back to Ahmad, the goalkeeper. And ball just Pass attempt was off the mark there. It goes out of play. Gives us a chance to look at the replay on that, John. It was a great ball in for SSL. Good closure of the defense. Tried to clear it and were able to get it on that second attempt. So great work by the defense for FC Birmingham. Indeed. Now we have a throw in here for Birmingham once more. Bailey Harris with it. Right along the 18 here on the near side. Ball in the box. And there's a comes to the foot of a SS, uh, excuse me, Birmingham player, but shot sails high and over the goal for a goal kick. So Birmingham is really making SSL work this half. They've been applying a pressure all match, and I'm not sure how long or if they'll be able to keep this up all match. But and SSL trying to get something going here as we're starting to get late in the half. They stall once more here. We throw in here for Birmingham. 
Now chipped ahead and forward here. Nice header forward ahead. He's going to have a shot on goal, but it's going to go high and wide. So Birmingham with a chance there. Not able to get it on goal, though, but that was a nice header. They move that ball forward, and shot just not on mark. So Mod will do the goal kick, and he'll just drop it off to his defense there to Kenneth. And once more, ball's going out of play off of SSL. So Birmingham with the throw, Bailey. Sends it in, looking for Giancarlo. It's over his head and booted up high in the air. 50-50 ball winds up on the feet of FC Birmingham. Now the touch pass was taken by SSL, intercepted by SSL. And now they cross midfield here on the near side. And trying to get through. But again, the back line was there to break that up. Now Giancarlo sends it forward. But the defense is able to get out to it. And long pass by Birmingham goes to Ahmad. So on the far side. It's for Breeze. Now in midfield. And here comes a chance. Nunez way out of the goal. Coming in, moving to the 18 into the six. And he's going to take a shot. He's going to score. So SSL, bring it within one goal here. Birmingham player went down. And little moment's hesitation, and Nunez is caught in no man's land, and SSL able to, to get, it, uh, get it in the back of the goal here. You see here, John, the one thing that SSL has is it has the pace, able to get past the one, key, the one defender, and then finally put it away, finally get on the board, 2-1. So finally able to get that uh, through pass working. And uh, he even had a man in the center who was open as well. And you see that puts a charge in SSL. Here they come right back and they have another chance here. And oh, tripped up by the keeper. Wow. What a turn of events here, Larry. Yeah, John, this could be no chance. Has to be a stone cold penalty. You see this ball move forward, has the break, pass the defender, keeper completely takes him out. It is a dead cold penalty. Now it's in just a matter of seconds, we could end up being 2-2. And all this hard work for FC Birmingham could go to, to not right here. In the first half is they have to try and stop a penalty here. So just like that, SSL with a chance to tie this match up. And he missed it. He shot it wide on the left side. Oh my goodness. Golden opportunity to tie this match up and not he, something you see often, John. He just completely missed that. He had it. He had the keeper right and completely bottled it. Uh, make note of this. We'll see if that could uh, factor into the, the final score of this match. If SSL were to lose this match by a goal, you'll certainly want to look at that play there. As a factor, but but boy, just just how quick did SSL almost turn this game right around and tie this thing up, but oh, only to to miss the penalty. 
So FC Birmingham dodges one here, and their their lead, a two one lead, is for now preserved. So SSL will just have to shake this off and get back to work. And FC Birmingham will have to look to try and uh, get off their heels a little bit because SSL really was pouring it on there the last few minutes. Now fighting for it in the near corner. Coming away with it. There's a nice pass in the front, but it's blocked and off the defense. So we're going to get a corner here for FC Birmingham on the near side. So Good attempt here from FC Birmingham. Maintaining possession, Ortega. Over to Salazar. Salazar with a good ball on frame. Have to be punched out for a corner. All right, so this will be a right-footed kick here. In the box it goes. Looking for the head of Giancarlo, but not even finding it this time. But he's giving chase in the corner. It's going to go out of play for... Goal kick. So get late in the half here. Two one is our score. Could easily be two two, but SSL miss a penalty kick. That's Chile with it. And pass is going to be picked up by Nunez, the goalkeeper here in the corner, but giving chase now. Makes him pick it up. John, I wouldn't expect more than let two minutes tops for stoppage. So we're on stoppage now. Ramad with it. Since Ford kick, uh, pass is intercepted here, here comes a chance for Birmingham. And pass attempt was deflected off the SSL defender for a throw deep in the defensive third. So Harris for Birmingham will throw in. And once again, was that number three for Bustamante? Oh, my goodness. Number three, a hat trick for Bustamante, all off corners, all off the headers. What a first half this young man is having. This one, take a bow, young man, because this is absolutely perfect. Got the wind to his back, thrown in by Harris, just simple on frame, top of the bar, nothing that Ame could do. 3-1. I had a conversation with Bustamante before the match, and I was jokingly asking him how much did he have in him. Did he have three? And he said, we'll see. I think we just did. What a whale of a first half for Giancarlo Bustamante. Really giving his club a lift today. 3-1 is our lead. And you got a sense this might be a little bit of demoralizing for SSL. They worked hard and finally able to pull within 2-1 and then just, just literally just, then there's our half, but literally just seconds later, earn a penalty kick and could have tied this thing up at 2-2 in a matter of minutes, but missed the penalty kick and now they can see the goal in stoppage. They're going to definitely have to regroup and bounce back and see what they can do in the second half. But that, that was our first end of the first half here, folks, at the UPSL Georgia Premier Division Soccer SSL FC hosting FC Birmingham, and it's the visitors, FC Birmingham, up 3-1. What are your thoughts on the first half, Larry? Well, I definitely think you're dead on that that penalty changed the whole aspect of the game. Could have been 2-2, now it's 3-1. But the one thing that I've seen with SSL, they're really lacking in defense. We've seen it time and time again in the matches that we covered. They had a lot of changes in their roster this season, and they're suffering. Yeah. Well, they were able to come back last week being down a couple goals. We'll they'll look to see if they can do it again this week. So don't go away. You're watching the first half of our doubleheader. 
We're going to take a break here for a little bit. You're watching UPSL Georgia Premier Division Action on the, U- on the ASNG YouTube channel. We'll see you in a few minutes. Hey coach, is your game going to be live streamed? Can't find a broadcast partner? I have the solution for you. It's time to contact the Atlantic Soccer Media Group. The Atlantic Soccer Media Group will provide you with the most extensive live coverage and affordable rates to bring your club's matches to your fans. So they will never miss any of the action It's in! Dalton United at the death of the game! They go ahead, and this stadium is sent to raptures! And bring them along with you as you raise the trophy. Gentlemen, say it with them. They are the champions. 
So what are you waiting for? For the best and easiest coverage, national exposure, attract sponsors, interact with your fans, work with scouts from around the world, contact the Atlantic Soccer... Hey coach, is your game going to be live streamed? Can't find a broadcast partner. I have the solution for you. It's time to contact the Atlantic Soccer Media Group. The Atlantic Soccer Media Group will provide you with the most extensive live coverage and affordable rates to bring your club's matches to your fans. So they will never miss any of the action It's in! Dalton United at the death of the game! They go ahead, and this stadium is sent to raptures! And bring them along with you as you raise the trophy. Gentlemen, say it with them. They are the champions. So what are you waiting for? For the best and easiest coverage, national exposure, attract sponsors, interact with your fans, work with scouts from around the world, contact the Atlantic Soccer...
And welcome back, everyone, to USPL Georgia Premier Division Soccer Week 5 here for the Georgia Division. My name is John Reno alongside Larry Weaver, the first of a doubleheader, SSL FC hosting FC Birmingham. And it's thanks to the head of Giancarlo Bustamante with a hat trick. FC Birmingham enjoys a 3-1 lead as they're just kicking off the second half. So Bustamante having a whale of the first half here. SSL is definitely going to have to find a way to defend him, especially on those corner kicks, Larry. Okay, here comes FC Birmingham. Early charge here in the second half. SSL has their work cut out for them. Of course, they were down a couple goals last week, came back to win. And they can strike. And strike often and quickly. As they almost did this match, they again. If you missed it in the first half, they had a they were down two nil, scored a goal to draw within one, and just literally just moments later, earned a penalty kick, but missed the penalty kick and missed a chance at tying this match up at two two. And then just just a little bit after that, Giancarlo finds it, found his third, and three one is where we stand. And right you are, John. Like we were like you were just saying. SSL was down to FC Atlanta, came back, won that match last week. And one of the things that we've seen time and time again, SSL has the better pace than FC Birmingham. They just haven't been able to capitalize on it. They're getting off sides, and the defense is able to just get a foot on it and clear it out. SSL could come back. We'll wait to see. Yeah. FC Birmingham applying a lot of pressure on the ball carrier as well. That's Morano. Here, here comes break free. Here's a chance for SSL. Early chance. Pass it over and just and instead of taking the shot, dished it off. Birmingham looking for offside, but but nonetheless, a golden opportunity for SSL early here early at the 47th minute here. Not able to cash in. And they're able to sneak behind that back line there. And perhaps he put it, probably should have took the shot on that one, Larry. Again, that I think that that, that penalty is going to cost them dearly. They're just out of sorts in this match. Perfect opportunity. We'll watch the replay when it comes back up. This technically would be three. Oh, and here comes another chance, but off the offside this time. So no goal. Flag is up offside. We'll go back to the one that just happened. He was clearly onside when that ball was sent through. It's a beautiful ball. He comes in, and he just cannot get around the keeper. He's actually looking to try to dish it off to the on-runner instead of taking it on his own, and he was it caught in two minds. Finally took the shot right into the keeper. So Nunez with the goal kick there. That lands the feet at Birmingham. That was Luke Sear. Now push forward and just off balance shot there, way off mark. So SSL with a couple chances here early. Long way to go. They're only down two. That's for Brees. Sending it forward. Oh, a little tug from behind. And and that was Sabbath looking for a foul there. He basically just stopped to complain to the AR there instead of hustling forward the ball. Yeah, John, and I'm surprised that there hasn't been a yellow card issued because you see here man's beaten just clearly just a slight little tug but it's enough to stop the run and Sawyer's lucky to not or I should sorry Bacallo is lucky to not get a yellow there all right so Koa with the free kick up bat up in there and oh just wide
So it'll be a goal kick for Birmingham for Nunez. Again, this is the first of a double header at 7.30. You're going to want to stay tuned, folks, for probably what the Georgia division matchup of the week. Two powerhouses in the UPSL Georgia Premier Division, Kalanji Pro Profile hosting first place, Dalton United FC. That's Again, that's at 7.30. You don't want to miss that one, folks. Well, Birmingham trying to move forward. There's Mr. Hattrick, Giancarlo. To sip in. Sip in now. Looking for Sear. Sear had two men on him, loses it. SSL trying to come away. Pass for Sam was intercepted and tripped up his FC player, FC Birmingham player on the near side. That was Yoel Bacalio. Goes down a little hard, but he bounces back up. So we'll get a free kick here along the touchline. Sends it along towards the box. And once more, headed forward by Giancarlo. But Ahmad able to corral that one. And now SSL trying to break out past midfield. And there's another attempt. He looks like he's offside, but Nunez gets to it first, clears it away near midfield. Sear. Oh, big collision there at midfield. And no penalty. Play on. SSL. Oh, nice move there. Now they send it over, switch it over to the far side. Into the box. Has two defenders on him. And it's poked away. And losing the rundown for it was SSL. Now Bustamante trying to pass it in. Intercepted. SSL coming the other way. And they're going to break through again. And this offside once more. So that's several times now, SSL been offside. And, John, this could be a major issue for SSL. You see that Giancarlo now has just a whole group around him, two and three defenders around him, which now frees up his players here on this near side, like Sire and also number 27, who have an opportunity, I don't have 27, or no, I'm sorry, that's 21, Sipen. It gives Sipen and Sire free access on this near side if everybody's focused on Bustamante. Yeah, that could be uh, a hazard on their part. They, as Larry said, they just continually focus on Bustamante, and they should focus on him, but not to the detriment of giving opportunities to other players, but... We'll see how things progress here, but SSL, they've been on attack for most of this half in the early going. Ahmad with an awkward kick, but he gets it up in the air. No harm there. Send high again, 50-50 ball. Hit up once more. Now finds the feet of Saipan. Pustamante. Touch forward. He was looking for Salazar, and that's going to go out of play here. Substitution coming on, John. 16's day is done. Bring on Brasher, one of my favorite players, number 48. So Justice Brasher in the match now. And he gets a touch right away. Gives it to Sear. Sear. Man on him. He's going to drop it back. And Okoa is going to take it for SSL. Sends it on the far side. SSL across midfield. And that's booted off of a Birmingham player. So throw for SSL here in the 50. Brasher gives up about a foot on every single player out there. But he plays hard and he gives it everything he has when he's on the pitch. Hustles all the time, as Larry said. He's just plays hard for sure. 
And you've got to love that kind of an effort. So there you see Mr. Brasher momentarily, but SSL able to evade him. And now, you know, they're on the near side for SSL, trying to track it down, but it's going to be cleared out. And they say it's going to be off S uh, SSL, so Birmingham will come the other way with it. So past the 55 minute mark here, still 3-1 is our score. With all three goals coming from that man there, Giancarlo Bustamante. He's gonna drop it off to Sears. Sears on the near side, looks for a cross, gets it. Nice, beautiful cross there. And able to get a shot off and oh, just high of the goal. Off the American field goal crossbar. So nice sequence of events there. Birmingham almost made it 4-1. And we'll take a look here in a minute, John, but talk about everything right except on frame. So Birmingham looking for their first win of this season. In the driver's seat right now. And Nunez is going to have to come out of the goal to clear this one hard, clear into the grandstands. All right, we take a look at, the, at this replay. You can see... Sire with an absolute fantastic run on this near side. Beautiful ball right to the top of the box. The shot taken with the left and just not on frame. We are back to live action. SSL in control, trying to move it in. Now on the far side, working his way in the 18. He's got two men on him. He's dispossessed, and now here comes Brasher with it. Looking for Giancarlo. Giancarlo sidesteps a man. Now he's looking for a seer. Can he catch up to it? He can. Saves it from going out. There's a little tussle. A nice play by the defense. SSL coming away now. Pass midfield here on the near side. That's Samba. And it's going to go off of. Birmingham for a throw for SSL. Gets it in quickly. And we get a whistle. And away from the play, we have player down for SSL. That's uh, Fabrice, number 92, coming up limping. And he's not happy about something. He's thinking that when him and Sire were battling there on that near side, that Sire had stamped on him. I didn't see it. You didn't see it. Oh, that was the, the... The most important person that didn't see it was the center official. Yeah, yeah, Fabrice wasn't having a temper tantrum with his foot stomp there. He was just letting the referee know that he got stomped on. So... Drop ball there. Taken by Koa. It's going to go out of play. And we'll do this again. SSL will get a throw now. Still plenty of time for SSL. No need to get in panic mode just yet. A move around his man. Trying to get around his man and Kind of tugged it a little bit, and now, now we get a whistle, and that looks like we got the player. He's, it looks like we might have a serious injury I think here. We have a serious injury, John. Referee calling for. Let's see if we can trainer. see what happened. Oh yeah, yeah, he when he hit the pitch, I think he dislocated his elbow. Mm. Because as he's turning and he tries to brace himself, his, elbow, his, his, his arm gives. I think he, he may have dislocated or potentially may have broken his, his left arm. Hate to see that. But they whistled that right away. They, 
obviously had a lot of distress there, a lot of pain. Okay, now he's still can't air. Looks like he didn't want to come off, Larry. You know how players are, John. You don't want to come off. I think it. I think it was potentially just a dislocation. I thought uh, it doesn't look like it wasn't egregious in any way, shape, or form. It was just a. It was just an accident. It was where his body was coming. It was still moving as he was trying to settle himself, and he and he went down. Luckily, it's nothing major. Uh, you know, it's it's not a. It, it doesn't look like it's a, a a break or anything like that. Just potentially either a tear or a dislocation. Can you see that arm is just hanging down by his side? Yeah, you hate to see that. But hopefully, it's nothing too serious. So we'll get a player in for him. And see who that young man's number is coming running on the field here. Should be number twenty-seven. Irvin, number twenty-seven, in for FC Birmingham. All right, so we're going to have another drop ball here, right in the near corner for SSL. Drop it back to Fabrice. Fabrice sends it in the box. And try to turn on kick. It was going to be cleared by the defense and out into the grandstands. So past the 60-second uh, minute here. No score yet in the second half. 3-1 is our score. All the goals scoring in the first half. And there's a chase for the midfielder, Brasher. He's down, but up with the ball. Gets it to Giancarlo. Giancarlo goes down. And foul given. And so... Bustamante is going to take this free kick here. And it's off of defense. And Fabris on the sideline is going to lose it to Sear. Sear drops it back. Now sends it to Irvin, who just came on. Now big switch over the far side. And not able to keep it from it going out of play. So turnover, throw in here for Birmingham. Ball in, headed forward by SSL. Trying to take a turn here. Nice pressure by Birmingham. And their pressure has been hampering SSL for... All this match passed behind and out of play, so Birmingham will get another throw here. So, other than a couple chances early in the second half, uh, it's you know since that missed penalty kick, it's you know SSL just been been out of sorts, not not playing their usual game here, Larry. You know, John, we keep talking about it. We talked about it last week. Was was that match? in week three was that a fluke or was that normal against north georgia united then they came back and won against fc atlanta 
we're starting to see what we saw in week one and week two. We're seeing a team that doesn't really have an identity right now. And meanwhile, play results in another throw for Birmingham. So they do have the ability to turn this match around in a hurry. But Birmingham doing a great job so far. Again, hungry for their first win of the season. The ball at midfield hits the turf. Urban fighting for it. And they'll earn another throw. They're in the Sipen. Sipen's going to drop it back. Bustamante looking for Sear. Sear has it. And switchover finds open man there in the corner of the box and pass in was intercepted nicely by the defense. So now SSL only able to cross midfield momentarily. The ball sent back in. SSL do have it back. And SSL have them wait for numbers here. They'll drop it back. Labrie sends it long and in the box. Trying to get to it was SSL, and it's going to be cleared away. But still in possession by SSL on that far side. Now surrounded by two men. And dispossessed, and that was Giancarlo tripped up there. And he didn't like that play, didn't care for that too much. This will be free kick. Giving the play quickly, looking for Brasher. Brasher not able to catch up to it. Ahmad, keeper, sends it on forward. Labrice with it. Pass at midfield gets sent back in by Birmingham. Sipping with it, it's going to drop it off to Irvin. Irvin now chips it forward for Brasher. Brasher. Can't catch up to it. It's going to be sent out of play. And it looks like we're going to have a goal kick here for SSL once they retrieve the ball. Take a look at this again. We always, we're always we talking about Brasher. This ball forward, able to get to it on frame, immediately jumping up trying to say that it was a corner. So Ahmad, going to send this long, presumably. Short of midfield. Hits the dirt, though. That was number six. Rodriguez. Now here comes Birmingham. Free in the box, and the pass in the middle was cleared away by the defense. So a chance for Birmingham. So... Birmingham starting to pick up the pace a little bit here as far as on the attacking side. We'll get a throw deep in the defensive third. Harris will go back to throw this one in. Uh, surely be looking for Giancarlo's. Basically had three goals from this position here. Into the box it goes. But this time... Ahmad Gable's able to get his hands on it. And sends it forward, but right to Irvin. And Irvin will let it trickle out of play here. Pass the touchline, the side touchline for another yeah, throw. Another thing about that throw, John, is they don't have the wind into their face that wasn't allowing it to hold up like it was for Bustamani in those first three. Yeah, the wind being a little calm for now. And pass attempt hits the back of the SSL player and sent back in. As we're approaching the 70th minute of this match, time will start to become a factor now. SSL needs two to tie this up. And 
once more cleared away by Birmingham at midfield. Carr with it. And Teresa has our players go down. No foul. Now looking for uh, Brasher. That's intercepted by SSL. And we do have SSL player down. And the two SSL players collided together. Not sure who that is yet, but the trainer's coming out to take a look. I don't know if we have a replay of what happened there or not. It was not really sure what happened there, John. It was a, it looks like a collision as they were moving forward there. I, I don't know what happened there. Yeah. I mean, it looked like a bit, if it was anything, it looked like a bit, a bit of friendly fire to me because it was two SSL players colliding and going down. It's number 90. Well, that'll be Sam. And he is a limping. Very, very gingerly right now. So it looks like he is going off. So throw in here for Birmingham. And Brasher with it. Lose it, ball trickles over the far side and trying to keep it in, not able to, was SSL. And Ann actually managed to hit it off of the Birmingham player, so be throwing it for SSL. A nice dispossession there by SSL. So they've been stymied here for a good part of the second half. Need to get something going here as we are past, we're approaching the 73rd minute. Down two goals. Now here's a nice chance here coming into the box. Chips in front and behind the man, but there's a man there to clean it up and he's going to send it in and just didn't get enough uh, foot on it and it makes an easier save there for Nunez. So first good chance in a while for SSL. And a goal kick goes right to SSL. McCoy with it. Moving the center now. He's going to send it in. Oh, nice, beautiful pass into the 18. And chips it ahead. And we have an SSL player go down. Yeah, I'm gonna ha I, I feel like that one is going to be a penalty for yes. sure. We'll look at the replay again. It looked like, to me, it looked like Harris just kind of clipped him out. Take a look again. And yeah, that's a that that's a penalty. So with the way uh, Birmingham reacted, yeah, it definitely looks like a we're going to have a second penalty attempt here for SSL. Not able to cash in on the first they had in the first half. Let's see, and that's what I like to see there. I like to see the captain Bustamante. Having a discussion now, going the AR, the the ref is going over to the AR to have a discussion about was he off sides before that penalty happened. So big decision here. Yeah, Bustamante is waiting for so. All right, so the decision's made. We're going to have another penalty here for SSL. As the clock has passed the 75th minute mark. So 
SSL. Have to have this one. I can't imagine missing two of these. Just waiting for the go ahead. Now the referee makes his way back on the field. Uh, SSL down 3-1, trying to make it 3-2 here on this penalty. Shot on the way. And they missed another one. A save this time by Nunez. That is two penalties missed by SSL. Oh, my goodness. Fantastic work here by Nunez. Guesses right. Gets it right. Great work. What a... Again, a, 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 a sad turn of events here for SSL. They've missed two penalties now and being down by two goals. And Birmingham's going to come away with his ball now. I'm, just, I'm a little lost for words, Larry. That was just beautiful save by Nunez. Meanwhile, we have an FC Birmingham player down, but that's got to be demoralizing for SSL. Yeah, that's two penalties today, both misses. Not a statistic that you're used to seeing. You look at this, Birmingham make a break, get to about center line, and just clattered by the SSL player. So we've already seen one pretty serious injury here. And again, I'm surprised that I didn't see a yellow card no. issued. I'm not sure that was number 15 who went down. Yes, Lopez Funes, Jero. I do see the center official in his pocket, so I do believe he did issue a card on that challenge. I just did not see who he issued it to. No, I did not either. But if he did, that would be our first of the match, I believe. So Birmingham will have a free kick here right, up, right around midfield. Sending it long into the box and looking for Giancarlo, but he winds up on the deck. And Ahmad ends up with the ball. Tried to do some acrobatic work there. And you can see SSL paying a lot more attention to Bustamante here this half. It's Bustamante using his head for three goals in the first. Fabrice, nice move around his man. Pass midfield. Pass alongside, cannot be controlled by SSL. Throw in here for Birmingham. So the question is, with time approaching the 80th minute and missing two penalties, if this winds up, the way score is it would be what a what a disappointing loss for SSL. But it would be a great win for Birmingham as they would looking to pick up their first win of the season. But SSL still have a little time. Shot a little off mark here. Nunez able to get to that one very easily. Booted ahead and forward by Bustamante. Brasher giving chase. Come on, 
So SSL really have their work cut out for them now. Fabrice Akoa. Akoa turns. Having to retreat a little bit as he had two men on him. Or excuse me, that was Diaz, not Akoa. Nice turn by SSL. Got two men on him here. Takes a shot. And oh, he almost almost found his man there. And trying to get that one out of the air, but just deflected high and out of play. And he was slipping as he crossed that. But chance there for SSL. Just, again, just not able to cash in, Larry. SSL has been in this match the entire time. They just don't have any goals to show for it. I mean, this match could easily be 3-3. But this one will sting if this concludes the way it is currently. Now, nice move in the end of the box. He's going to take a shot, and he's going to put it in the goal! So <laughs> Urban wants to grab that ball, and SSL wants to get it right back because I know time's a factor. But SSL pull within like one this. now. You see how they can change a game so quickly. Turn, shot, absolutely perfect. Now it's going to be interesting these last eight minutes, John. Yes, indeed, Larry. So SSL... They were looking down and out, and just like that, they're back in the match. What do we say? They look for them to really press here. So SSL pull within one. That was Diaz, but it's good. Intercepted by Urban, but it gets sent back in. And now Koa with it. Pass midfield. Now the near side of Fabrice. Fabrice has Brash on him. And nice moves here by SSL, but finally loses it, but still SSL fighting for it. Irvin tries to clear. They're going to drop it back to Nunez. Nunez is going to send it long past midfield. But SSL players there, but heavy touch. Bustamante now going after it. And it's going to go out. And, John, it's not a thing where FC Birmingham has parked the bus and just tried to defend. It's just they haven't been as efficient as they were in the first half. You know, SSL did have a couple chances early in the first half, and I thought Birmingham did a good job shutting down a bit for most of this half, but the last few moments, so minutes, SSL's really come on, earning a penalty, but yet again missing one and then getting this goal soon after. So SSL had their opportunities, and they're still in this match because, oh, my gosh, bad touch there, but can Brasher, can he catch up to it? No, he cannot. So we're about. SSL keeper getting lucky there for that deflection to go out for a throw because he got that really wrong. And aside, remember early on, aside from the two missed penalties, they also, SSL also had a, a ball go off the goalpost as well. So, again, they've had their chances, but. And we should get a fair amount of stoppage time, I would believe. And we get a penalty here. It is really coming down to the wire now. In Birmingham, they're going to look try to look to slow things down here, slow down the SSL attack. And Nunez will 
take this free kick. And it looks like we're going to get a couple of substitutions here for SSL. Looks like 48th day, 49th day is done. As well as number 90, looks like his day is done as well. So Toby and Samba go off. Uh, maybe not. It looks like he's he's coming. Well, yeah, it's hard to tell. He came back onto the pitch, so 90 still in. 90 still in, so Samba will still stay in. Now we're back underway. And boot pass midfield headed for by Birmingham. Now booted out of the air by Giancarlo, high up in the air, heading towards the far corner and out. And there's a bump by SSL. Things are getting a little testy here in the final minutes. Yellow card issued to the FC Birmingham player for trying to hold up play. Yep. Yeah, you do definitely want to burn some clock if you can, but you don't want to pick up a card for it. Now, yeah, big clear over the grandstands. It was number 15 who received that yellow. That'd be Jero Lopez Funes, Funes with the Funes with the offense there. Another substitution for SSL. Number 85's day is done. So that'd be Chile. So trying to get some fresh legs in there for the final few moments here in stoppage. SSL, SSL need a goal to tie. And they face adversity all match long. And if they come up a bit short here, those two missed penalties will really haunt them. Now here comes Birmingham streaming down the near side here. Number 12, he's tried to dish it off, but Oh, no, there's a mistake, and oh, and it cost them dearly. Oh, my goodness. So, Victor Mayorga puts FC Birmingham up 4-2 now, and it just does not look like SSL's day today, Larry. Yeah, John, look at this. Back to the defender. Defender got that all wrong. The keeper had nothing that he could do, and that just straight up in the air, easy pickings for the Birmingham player. 4-3, four, or 4-2, four, excuse me. So 4-2 now as we're approaching the 89th minute. And what has turned out to be a very frustrating match for SSL. And someone on Birmingham, other than Giancarlo Bustamante, scores for Birmingham to make it 4-2. So now SSL on the far side, chips it in. Couldn't quite catch up to it. And it's going to be cleared out of play by Birmingham. Fabrice is going to throw it in for SSL. We get a notification of how much stoppage time will pass it along. There's a shot from distance stopped by Nunez. There's a free kick. Does manage to hit the turf. And Bustamante takes a shot and over the head of Ahmad trying to catch him uh, out of position there, but it was just a little wide on the far side. But uh, not a bad idea from Bustamante there. So we're past the 90 minute mark by our clock here. 
But Brees, the midfield. To Okoa. Koa sends it on the far side. Now moving his way in. Takes a shot from outside the 18, and Nunez is there. Good position once more. And we're in stoppage time. SSL down two. This one is going to sting for them. Missing not one, but two penalties on the day for SSL. Yeah, here it comes. Brasher. Brasher hits the top bar. Your favorite player, Larry, had a chance. That should have been the coffin nail and then some, John. That was an absolutely perfect buildup from FC Birmingham. That should have been put on frame and put away. Yeah. Mayotte got handed that to Brasher with, on a spoon, and he just could not convert it. Now Sipen into Giancarlo. Giancarlo will take a shot. That will go wide on the left side. So we're in stoppage. Brasher on the defense there as Giancarlo winds up. His shot is blocked by the defense. Now Mayor Guara now chips it into looking for Brasher. And Brasher heads it towards the goal, and Ahmad makes a nice save. So Brasher denied twice now here in these closing moments. And that's the match. That's the final whistle. And FC Birmingham pick up their first win of the season, 4-2 over the home team, SSL FC. Giancarlo Bustamante, three goals in the first half, all off headers. That's got to be your man of the match, Larry. Uh, Giancarlo Bustamante has to be the man of the match. Took over this, this match in the first half. Had opportunities in that second half. Became more of a team player and a captain. Was laying the ball off late there for his teammates to try to score. Give, SS, uh, give FC Birmingham a lot of credit. This is going to boost them up in the table. It's going to put them up into the playoffs. Fantastic match for them on the road. Going to go back home next week when we look at the fixtures. You see that. FC Birmingham is going to welcome Kalanji Pro Profile home to Lawson Stadium tomorrow or on Saturday, April 20th. SSL, they have a much needed week off. They need to regain whatever they had in the fall season because they are falling down the table. Yeah. Tough, tough one for SSL. They they still they were in this late. Down 3-2, but conceded late goal, and they fall 4-2. And, yeah, as Larry said, maybe a week off will, will be much needed for them so they can regroup and, and come back. But that will do it for us for this match. First match of the doubleheader. We don't st stay tuned because we have a doozy coming up. We have Kalanji Pro Profile hosting Dalton United FC up at 7.30 here on ASMG. You don't want to miss that, so stay tuned. So they'll do it for us for now. My name is John Reen alongside Larry Weaver. This has been UPSL Georgia Premier Division action here on the Atlantic Soccer Media Group. We'll see you at 7.30, folks. This has been a presentation of the UPSL. Any use of this broadcast without the written consent of the Atlantic Soccer Media Group is prohibited.